Grow snails as a whole are distributed all over Europe. I don't even know what what grow snails are. I think they're some species, some some creature. But a specific variety of the snail with a distinctive white-lipped shell is found exclusively in Ireland and in the Pyrenees Mountains that lie on the border between France and Spain. The researchers sampled a total of 423 snail specimens from 36 sites distributed across Europe with an emphasis on gathering large numbers of the white-lipped variety. When they sequence genes from mitochondrial DNA of each of these snails, we're getting so many passages today from DNA and all that. Um, each of these snails and used algorithms to analyze the genetic diversity between them. They found that a distinct lineage, the snails with the white lip shells, was indeed endemic to the two very specific and distant places in question. Oh, brilliant. These are the kind of um, history and biology combined thing that I like. So, what are you saying? There's Europe. Lots of snails in lots of places. I mean, there's one in this corner, one in this corner. One is... Uh, Ireland and there is border between France and Spain. Both of them have this white-lipped variety. Not just that, they are both from a distinct lineage. So it's like twins separated at birth in one of those are old Hindi or Tamil movies. So there is some backstory to this. It is very surprising that we have found this. Obviously the rest of the, par- uh, the passage is going to put some hypothesis about the backstory. This is effect. This is something like uh, twins separated at birth. Two people looking exactly like each other. One in Delhi and one in Chennai. And suddenly, after all our research, we one, we see both of them, and then we are like stunned. Now we got to figure out how they are there. That's a stage. Explaining this is tricky, obviously. Previously, some had speculated that the strange distributions of creatures, such as the white-lipped crow snails, could be explained by convergent evolution in which two populations evolve the same trait by coincidence. Possible. There are people exactly like each other, but uh, with no parental jiggery pokery. But uh, unlikely. Unlikely. If I, if I saw a guy, two people exactly like each other, I will say, look, let me find this out. I am not going to say ah, coincidence. But the underlying genetic similarities between the two groups rules that out. They are too close to each other. They have got to have had something common. Alternately, some scientists had suggested that the white-lipped variety had simply spread over the whole continent, then been wiped out everywhere beside Ireland and, and Pyrenees. That's possible. They've been all over the place. Then they got killed elsewhere. Only these two are there. But the researchers say their sampling and subsequent DNA analysis eliminate that possibility too. I don't know how they've eliminated, but they've eliminated that possibility. If the snails naturally colonized Ireland, you would expect to find some of the same genetic type in other areas of Europe, especially Britain. We just don't find them. And so, we are not seeing in anywhere except these two places. Moreover, they had gradually spread across the continent. There would be some genetic variation within the white lip type. Because evolution would introduce variety over thousands of years. Because evolution would introduce variety over thousands of years, it would have taken them to spread from Pyrenees to Ireland. So, it went from one place to another and then disappeared in the middle. The chances are this end and that end are different. That variation doesn't exist, at least in the gene sample. They are same. And this means that rather than the organism gradually expanding its range, large populations in Chet were somehow moved en masse to the other location within the space of a few dozen generations, ensuring a lack of genetic variety. These twins are equivalent of twins in this genetic game. They were transmitted within a period of 100 years. Somebody took a bunch of these buggers from this side and put them that side. There is a very clear pattern which is difficult to explain except by involving humans, Davidson said. Humans, after all, colonized Ireland roughly 9000 years ago. And the oldest fossil evidence of gross snails in Ireland dates to roughly the same era. Additionally, there is archaeological evidence of early sea trade between the ancient peoples of Spain and Ireland via the Atlantic and even evidence that humans routinely ate these types of snails before the advent of agriculture as their burnt shells have been found in Stone Age trash heaps. Of course, this is very easy. I don't know why there's such a big build-up. That's probably the most likely explanation. Humans, for some reason, maybe they thought there was, there was some special powers they had or special medicine they had or, or God had made them sacred, something. But they took a bunch of these creatures from one end to another. The simplest explanation then, boats. 
These snails may have inadvertently traveled on the floor of the small coast hugging skiffs these early humans used for travel. Possible. Or they may have been intentionally carried to Ireland by the seafarers as a food source. Possible. That good nutrition. They have been treated as food before agriculture. The highways of the past were rivers in the ocean. As the rivers that flanks the Pyrenees was an ancient trade route to the Atlantic. What you are actually seeing might be the long lasting legacy of snails that shitched a ride as, ride as humans travelled from south of France to Ireland 8000 years ago. Quite possible, quite likely, quite clear explanation. Let's go to the question. The passage outlines several hypotheses and evidence related to white-lipped grove snails to arrive at the most convincing explanation for. What are they arriving at an explanation for? The fact that near identical genetic strands are available in two far away places. Why the white-lipped variety of grove snails were wiped out everywhere except in Ireland and Pyrenees? No, they were not wiped out. I mean, that theory is debunked. They are not finding an explanation for this. How the white-lipped variety of grove snails independently evolved in Ireland and Pyrenees? No, they did not independently evolve. The convincing explanation is they are there. Why do they happen to be identical? Why the white-lipped variety of grove snails are found only in Ireland and the Pyrenees? Yeah. How the white-lipped variety of grove snails independently evolved in Ireland and the Pyrenees? No. Choice C should be the right answer. Oops. The, the same variety is available in both places. And then we are trying to find an explanation for that. All of the following evidence supports the passage's explanation of sea travel and trade except the coincidental existence of similar trains in the white-lipped grove snails of Ireland and Pyrenees because of convergent evolution. Uh, all of the following evidence supports the passage explanation. Convergent evolution. He is saying that is not possible. This is our answer. The, let's read the other choices. He is saying convergent evolution. Like, like there is a strand in Delhi, there is a strand in Chennai. They have never been in contact with each other. But it looked, turns out that both of them took the exact same path. Convergent evolution. And very frequently, uh, convergent thought process is given as an excuse for plagiarism. Person A would have written an essay, person B has written the same essay. And then person B says, oh, what a coincidence, we both thought of it the same way. Most professors will say, yeah, good for you, but except that I'm asking you to leave this college. And so, something like that. And so, that is not given as an explanation for sea travel. Convergent evolution were there, then the sea travel theory need not be propounded. Right? Let's look at choices B, C and D. The oldest fossil evidence of white-lipped grove snails in Ireland date back to roughly 9,000 years ago, the time when humans colonized Ireland. Yeah, this is used. Absence of genetic variation within the white-lipped grove snails. This is used. This is what tells us that they did not move over generations and then suddenly disappear in the middle, in between these two places. Archaeological evidence of early sea trade between ancient peoples. Yeah, this is also used. This only tells us that maybe they travel with humans over sea. A is an easy answer. In paragraph 4, the evidence that humans routinely ate these types of snails before the advent of agriculture can be used to conclude that they routinely used. That means, they'll, what could it be? Because this, this, this will suggest that they not only traveled by sea, they were taken by the sailors by sea for, for food supply. Right? White-lipped grove snails may have inadvertently travelled from the Pyrenees to Ireland on the floor of small coast-hugging skiffs. This is true, but this doesn't, this is not linked to this. If this were true, if it is to be linked, then they did not inadvertently travel. They were taken as a food source. The seafarers who travelled from the Pyrenees to Ireland might have carried white-lipped grove snails with them as edibles. Yes, that's what this is supporting. That's why this is there. Rivers and oceans in the Stone Age facilitated trade in white lip grow snails. Yeah, but routinely ate these types of snails. There has got to be an indication that they were carried for food. 9,000 years ago, during the Stone Age, humans traveled from the south of France to Ireland via the Atlantic. A, C and D are all true. They are all stated. They are all explanations of some other things. But this, you need our, the answer choice to say, Maybe they took it for food. That is choice B. 
Bouchard and the following makes the author eliminate convergent evolution as a probable explanation for why white lipped crow snails are found in Ireland. The absence of genetic variation between white lipped crow snails of Ireland and Pyrenees. The absence of genetic similarities between white lipped crow snails of This is just wrong. First one seems reasonable. We'll have to revisit it. The coincidental evolution of similar traits in the growth snails of Ireland. No, it's not saying growth. I will be helping the theory of hypothesis of convergent evolution, not eliminating it. The distinct lineage of the white lip growth snails found specifically in Ireland and the Pyrenees. The distinct lineage. The absence of genetic variation between white lip growth. I'm, 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 I'm kind of. I want to think about A and D separately. The absence of genetic variation between white lip growth snails of Ireland and the Pyrenees. Very likely, there is no variation at all. Convergent evolution. Even if it had been convergent evolution, they cannot be identical. And so, distinct lineage of white lip growth snails. So I'm going with A because it is they're so exactly the same. It's not like you found a guy in Delhi, another guy in Chennai. They look like each other. They're replicas of each other, copies of each other. You can't tell them apart. That's when you say, "Who's the father?" That's exactly what the author is saying. Right? So the the lineage is not a factor. The absence of any variation that is a driver.